My name is Greg Evans. I work for USDA APHIS, the Animal Plant Health Inspection Service in Beltsville, Maryland. I'm responsible for the identification of scale insects and white flies primarily. Okay. Moving on to couplet seven, species that have the don't have the submarginal furrow. This is uh, Trialorodes vaporarium. Okay. So you see, you know, you may see a line over here like a fold, but that's not what we're talking about with a submarginal ridge or furrow. Okay. So don't get don't get that confused with a submarginal furrow. Here's the transverse molting suture. First abdominal segment, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh. And you see that the, this is the eighth segment down here. You see the sec seventh segment is very short. It's much shorter than the sixth segment. And that's, uh, con that's also the same way it is in Bemisia and uh, most of the other species of Trialorodes. You see along the side, it has these papillae along the side. And they may be cone-shaped or they may be bullet-shaped. But they're along the lateral margin here. Okay. Now you see these large sort of wart-like structures. These are called tubercles. They vary quite a bit between within species. You may find a trialurus vaporarium where they're almost covered with these things, and some of them hardly have any. So these uh, these aren't a very good taxonomic character because they're so vari variable. What defines this genus uh, is that along with the other characters that we've seen already, that it doesn't have the tracheal pore opening. It doesn't have the submarginal furrow. Uh, so you separate the ones that come down to this group of species, genera, uh, have the vasiform orifice, more or less triangular. But here's the character that defines this genus, Trialorodes. It's, it's, it's in the lingula. It has a three-lobed lingula structure. At, uh, the posterior apex of the lingula is trilobed. When you get down to identifying species of these, uh, the first part of the couplet will talk about how many of these crenulae are along the edge. You know, if they're very wide or if they're very narrow. And sometimes they may have you measure how many of these crenulae uh, are within a, a hundred micron uh, frame. 